welcome to, yeah, Heralds of Chaos. And I'm closing all these out, even though I've already closed them out. So I guess I've got to go and restart Heralds of Chaos, because I went and straight or elongated my uh, thing. Okay. Anyway, there's a lot of changes. They've added a single player mode, which is where I'm going, because I don't want to jump into multiplayer and get my butt whooped. And a uh, friendly match, not so much. But uh, also, as you can see, they've also changed the layout a little bit. Not much. You can invite your friends and play that, uh, play against them. These are the people who are online for me. Hi, all you people. Anyway. Uh, there's also the Chaos Keys. Chaos Keys will allow you to get uh, random things. You can select from a chest and get something. Um, I leveled up a couple of times because I was actually playing the single player. Anyway, just because of that, uh, there's also new cards and everything else. Yeah. It's not really too, too hard. Um, gonna go to a single player game, and uh, I'm gonna treat this one more as a let's play than, uh, than an actual, you know, than an actual, uh, yeah. Ooh, battle missions. I haven't tried battle missions. Uh, let's see. Hellspawn Easy Mode, Flameborn Medium, Hellspawn Nightmare, and there's the tutorial. Oh, okay, that's all these are. Um, go back to Flameborn 1, then. Uh, defeat the Lord of Despair. That's actually going to be really hard. I've already done that one, and ah, uh, okay. Basically, I need to have a different herald to do these ones, so, um, yeah, I'll continue on in my Dragonborn. Um, actually, I'm going to go back here and do the first one. It's just going to be a random reward. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Okay, sorry. Just uh, waiting for it to load and everything. Just kind of boring, I know. Also, going back to the well, it seems, as I am um, going back to what made me popular, there's also no uh, no frame rate uh, no frame rate on this one. Oh well, I already know flame rate is going to be atrocious. And yes, we must get this woman and take her back to the uh, get her, take her back over to here, and the way to do that is. Because I can actually rampantly expand and no one's going to do anything about it. Um, so I will. That's the truth. Just the secret to this level, if you guys are going to play it yourselves, is just move. That's all it is. Move your creatures, move your characters, and uh, she's going to hold out. It's not going to be a big deal. You can also capture all the portals. You can make an assault on the succubus here. None of it matters. I am being completely honest here. None of it matters. So, yeah, just do what you're going to do. And, uh, this is just me revealing the map, because no one else is going to move. This is, like I said, the tutorial level. Uh, summoning the scout here, you're going to go... Hey, claw fighter. Go here. You go here. And you come down one. I'm done here for now. 
Found a victory portal. Yay. Do I need any attuners yet? No, but it might be a good idea to summon one or two. I'm going to actually just summon you here. You go here. Or actually, you go here. You go here. You go up here. And I cannot summon anything else. I should have summoned the attuner. Oh well, not a big deal, not just yet. Oh, forgot to uh, shift my herald too. Herald goes here, a tutor summon here. You go here, you go here, you. I will summon another scout. The point of this is actually to amass a giant army and then escort the uh, woman away. Okay, since you're actually a scout attuner, you go there, you go here, here, here. Not more. That is good enough for me for now. Let me come over here. Yeah. I could also probably kill a few things with mashing. Not much, but probably. Okay. Guardian of the Plinth, you come over here. You here. And you come on down here. You go over claim this victory portal. Uh, you here. Here, here. I'm going to just use all this to get uh, more mana, and uh, then, yeah. Whenever I've got a giant army, I'm going to send it against one of the two fronts, because it won't matter. Sending you here. And so on, so forth, so on, so forth. Oh, I forgot, I didn't want to move you. I find it really quite... Uh, overwhelming that I have yet to... get another tuner. Because I need, like, three of them. Four, but still. Okay, another Thunder Lizard here, because I'm going to need it. Uh, Volcano Well. Okay, you two come here. Here we go, honestly, not going to matter. Alright. Summon everything in my hand, aside from gnashing. He 
because, yeah, these are all going to help. Because as soon as I'm done with uh, fighting both of these, I'm going to go up, kill this, and then back down to save her. Yeah, that's how this is going to be done. And that includes casting both of my gnashings before, uh, before I even do anything. Sorry about the loud, loud sounds. A tuner? Guardian of the Plinth isn't a tuner? Wow, I didn't know that. Now I do, but uh, did not know that. Could have been getting extra mana. So I will. I will get extra mana. Yeah, it's always best to set up a full frontal assault, in my opinion. And yes, that will be fine for now. I'll give it one more turn and then I'll start attacking. Here's why. Because I need all of my creatures to be able to attack right where I'm going to. <sighs> He's not going to be able to because I keep forgetting about him. Mana Convergence plus 10 mana for each victory of port uh, portal that my opponent controls. Not going to be useful here. Okay. I will wait one more turn. I will cast Gnashing this turn. Because all my opponents are revealed, and, well, it does enough damage. It does up to 50 damage for the two of them. Twenty-five damage to each. Five to twenty-five damage to each. Okay, I'm going to summon you over here because you don't need to be anywhere else. I'm going to double click on this place, send you all to here, send you to here, double click, you're here, and you're just being summoned, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, good to attack. And this battle should be ridiculously easy with the amount of units that I have coming to attack. And the amount of damage done prior to. Like I said, all this is going to be is me destroying two things. And I'm just going to click done because each and every one of these should be able to take care of the Screaming Boulder. No, oh, it's not even a Screaming Boulder. Yeah, that thing, or that guy's dead. Claw Fighter. Not really the best unit in the world, but you have to make use of them. I already knew that that was going to happen, so not a surprise. I win that battle, I get something else. 
you go here, you summon here. This entire party goes to this point. Done. After all of this, she goes up here, they go up there, and we go to the succubus. Claim the entire map, and then I need to, uh, after the map has been claimed, I need to get her out of there, which they're going to summon more enemies. Just click done, because all we can attack is the lightning demon. Okay. Oh, only got grazed. 35. 45. Okay, here we go. Lawfighter is down. That's why he's there is to go down first. Honestly. And all of these things with 80 to 90 uh, hit rate don't do jack. They gained 18, I gained 57, because I said, amass my army. You come here, you summon here. Because why not? All of you come up here. And you guys stay where you are at. Yeah, I'm um, just going to keep going here. Sorry, I know it's boring. Well, it's obviously not boring if I keep getting so many dang viewers for it. Ooh, another scout. Scout a tuner. You come here. You go here. And the rest of you. Mass here. Yeah, this is not how the game's supposed to be played, but at the same time, they give you a ridiculously easy first uh, first mission, so it's, you know, you, you just gotta do it. You just have to do it, and then that's gonna go up to, or she's gonna go up to here, he's gonna go over to there, and that'll be that. Because this isn't going to end the match. At all. Honestly. Just click done because, yeah, this is going to be a slaughter. Even though if she does 10 fear damage or 10 damage aura. Yeah, this is even worst case scenario here. I lose one creature. Yeah, she's done. I gain 60 for it and in the tuner portal. Now the real uh, the reason that I know that this isn't going to end the game cancel is actually because I've done this before this exact strategy yeah really really weird isn't it how you can do the exact same strategy and get two different results. My home will run a well. It is. So I need to have an attender there as well. And I will. At some point. Now that I know that that's a mana well, 
Imagine all that time that I uh, spent playing this game and not knowing that the home base was a man of wealth. I mean, honestly, that's uh, kind of dumb of me, isn't it? Okay, I'll just summon you here whenever I've moved all of my characters over to the other spot. And done. That way. Um, not where I wanted to go, but okay. You come here. You come here as well. Uh, you summon to here. That way he can come down here. Ah. No, no, I'm not. Decidedly not so. But there are more hail spawn, and now, oh hey, another gnashing. Yeah, okay, that'll be fine. You go over here, you come down here. Soul. So I can't do anything with that unit. Okay. okay you just go over there and have fun. Done. Well, I lost in the tuner. Yep, exactly what I thought was going to happen. there's going to be a little bit of exposition, and I can still go over and uh, kill things, so that'll be fine. You guys go up to here, you join them, cast the spell, you come over to here as well. on, select the unit. Oh, right. Can't do that whenever I'm telling you to cast a spell. Now select the unit. Because the I am absolutely sure that each and every one of those creatures are not going to survive. Okay, come on. All of you come up here. This gives me a chance to summon the regular who will end up making his assault. As well. Oh uh, yeah, I can put in a tuner in too. You guys come over here, attack this. You go over here, attack this. Oh. You. Over here. And, um, 
Even though she's just about dead, none of these things can attack the back row. So, with the sheer amount of people that uh, we have, which is a lot, I can make sure that she stays alive. With that being said, each and every one of these things is going to die. I just need to click done because otherwise, well, yeah, the lightning is gone, slaughter wheel is going to be gone, screaming boulder is going to be the thing that does the most, or, or screaming boulder is not going to think, be the thing that does the most, but it's going to be the thing that, uh, well, slaughter wheel is going down pretty easy. Yeah, Slaughter Wheel is going down pretty freaking hard. Okay. Easy way to gain, uh, gain Essence is the reason that I'm doing this. Yeah, I'll summon my third Thunder Lizard. Why not? I mean, I could wait until it uh, can join up with us. In fact, I will. Yeah, you guys go over here. I will wait a couple of turns. And then end the game. Yeah. Yeah. You'll join the assault, too. You go up here. Because nothing of theirs is going to move, it becomes incredibly easy. Okay. Done. You go here. Yeah, oh well. Should have realized that I could have summoned it anywhere. And forgot about there. Honestly. So I should have moved it the time before, but I did not. Protect Elena without her abilities, we won't stand a chance. Right. If this goes on beyond one turn, it'll be... It'll be redonkulous, honestly. And again, no one can attack the back row. So this is going to be ridiculously easy if everything hits. Heck, even if everything doesn't hit. I've got such a numbers advantage, it's ridiculous. I mean, the slaughter wheel, the chaos boulder, all of it is just, yeah. I know I'm taking a chance because she has like 10 hit points and uh, the Screaming Boulder would have been able to kill her, but at the same time, it's worth the effort. Slaughter Wheel. Has died. Okay. Nothing of mine has, so there we go. Now my entire army moves away. 
Away. Away. Away. Away. Because all I really needed to do was get her here. I didn't need to take everyone out. I just did because I felt like it. And even though I know uh, nothing else is going to be coming for me. It's always nice to have a just giant army move. That was the first mission, and uh, I know these are actually incredibly, incredibly long, but uh, you guys seem to like them. But that's the main changes with uh, Heralds of Chaos. Uh, Flash, my internet, and a few other things are being really, really laggy. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want to see more Heralds, let me know. I will do the rest of the single player missions for you guys. Later.